Well, I got into computer building because I really wanted to play games and I, I found it was the best solution for me at the time to get into it without having to spend a whole lot of money and accomplish what I really wanted to do. My name is Hassan. Uh, I'm from Dallas, Texas. I run a computer modding company. I modify computer hardware to make it look and perform better. If anybody asks me, you know, what do I do? I usually tell them it's something to do with sorcery and magic. The social part of building computers is being able to take it to an event and show off what you're capable of in an art form, as well as be able to just talk about hardware and gaming. When I heard about QuakeCon, I found out that a lot of people just took their PCs, went to this place, and played games together. It was like thousands of people. I thought that was crazy. It was a huge community thing. I showed up and everybody's PCs I had all the LEDs going on. They were really pretty. A lot of people were modding them. And so right then and there, I knew that I wanted to make my PC the coolest one in the room. So the i7 is definitely the enthusiast processor. i7 does have hyper-threading, so it's going to be able to work like it's more than four cores. And so a lot of games that take advantage of that are gonna perform a lot better. But one piece of advice I'd give to someone uh, getting into PC building or modding is don't be afraid. A lot of people go into it thinking they're gonna ruin some expensive parts they just bought or uh, not be able to do it at all. It's actually a lot simpler than you'd think. You really know what's driving the games, how it works, and if you ever want it to perform differently, you know exactly what you need to do to be able to make that happen. The social part of building computers is being able to take it to an event and show off what you're capable of in an art form, as well as be able to just talk about hardware and gaming.